Hello you guys and welcome back to another episode of Wickedly Beautiful, my Halloween makeup series. Today we're doing an avatar makeup look and I'm so excited to show you guys this tutorial. If you follow me on rai.jasmine, my TikTok account for makeup, you can find this in my showcase. This is the Athena face palette and I'm using that to paint my face today. First I'm going to block out my brows though and you can use like Elmer's glue and then flatten them out and then color correct and powder, concealer, powder, concealer. It's a long process, I go more into detail in my other videos, but it's kind of boring, so I don't really explain it too much. I, I mixed together the sky blue and the white shade to create this color, and I used it for my face paint. My second time using this was yesterday, this was the first time I ever used it. After using it for the first time, I definitely recommend if you guys have this palette, mix it with something. A lot of people were complaining that the LA Girl foundation, the white foundation for mixing was a little bit patchy. So what I recommend you do is get the concealer instead. Everyone's saying get the foundation to mix, but get the concealer. Concealers are made with much more pigment than foundations are, so it will not be patchy whatsoever if you get the concealer and use it as a foundation. It's also like super cheap at the drugstore, and you can just mix the colors. And then once you have that mixed base, of the concealer and the cream you can lay it down on your face like if it was foundation and then go over with just the plain creams and it builds up well but i don't like how the creams build up on themselves so for at least just the base layer i like to mix with concealer and then go over with just the plain cream colors in this look i didn't do that but i wanted to give that advice because it was really hard to build up the color and i had to do like powder and multiple layers of it but it's just much easier to just mix it with concealer and then for body makeup i just did the same exact thing i did on my face usually i don't really do that in detail like of how i do the body makeup because i'm just kind of copying what's on my face but really lazy <laughs> just <laughs> so that it looks cool in videos if you're actually going out with this makeup you might want to like put more effort into the body makeup but i just kind of wing it because i'm just taking videos um this was so hard to get off in the shower i literally was scrubbing with my african nest sponge for like 10 minutes i filmed two videos yesterday to be able to catch up and today i have to film two also and then sunday i have to film three because i leave for texas on monday so crazy busy schedule but we're getting it done yesterday's looks came out so good they're on my tiktoks zoraida.jasmine if you haven't seen them already go check them out on my main account both of my tiktoks are always linked in my description down below so always check the description because i always provide like all my social medias and helpful links helpful information in my description so go check that out um if you don't already follow me on there those looks came out amazing i love those i think both of the ones yesterday were my absolute favorite of the series we did a wonder woman kind of like comic type of style like very cartoony and like pop art looking and then we also did like a zombie look which was also like a pop art like cartoony style which even in just like painting and drawing like regular art i love that style i always like never really liked like hyper realistic looking things i always like very cartoony like pop art like caricature things i added the darker blue as contour as we can see and i just blended it out over and over um, it definitely would have gone on a lot smoother and been a lot easier to work with if you mixed it with concealer But I was struggling a little bit But I just go back and forth between darker blues lighter blues and whites of the face paint to make it kind of look like more dimensional And here I did really heavy contour to make it really dimensional And also to just darken it up overall because the avatars are kind of like darker blue, but We have a few more episodes of this series. I believe what, what is this? This is episode like five. We have like three more videos and then two bonus videos that you guys earned by getting me 2k plus subscribers. Every 1,000 subscribers gained, I add a bonus video. I don't think we're gonna have any more um, in this series, but yeah. For this series so far, you guys earned two bonus videos, so we have a few, quite a few videos left, but once this series is over, let me know in the comments down below what videos do you guys want to see next month. I would love to do vlogs. I plan on vlogging when I go to Texas this time. I didn't last time because it was my birthday trip and I was kind of like, you know, social media detox. I actually did film a vlog for a TikTok, so I might be lying, but that's so much easier. I want to make like long form YouTube vlogs though while I'm there. Um, I know you guys love vlogs. A lot of people have told me that they love the vlogs and um, I can see it in my analytics Like that's like my most viewed video is my only like long-form vlog on this channel So I definitely want to do more vlogs maybe like 
once a week i want to do a vlog and i mentioned this in some of my other videos but i want to do a podcast type of video once a week where it's just like talking and girl advice and it's like not really a podcast because it's just me talking to a camera in my room alone but you know what i mean oh by the way i'm using kimchi white powder this powder is really good for like special effects like face paint makeup looks it's just a plain white powder with like a little bit of pigment but not too much pigment so it's really good for like setting these colors but not changing the actual color or pigment too much but still giving a brightening effect i like kimchi for this it's a drag brand so they really know how to do powders and white powders right um i trust the drag girlies with their powders all the time so kimchi is really good for that but yeah if you have like a specific video idea that i should do vlogs are like the main one that i want to do and obviously makeup stuff is something that i also like and hauls but besides those three things do you guys have any other ideas like anything you've seen other youtubers do that you'd love me to try maybe like a video trying something new like i don't know i need some good ideas for next month I'm really happy with all the interaction we've been getting this month on these tutorials. Thank you guys so much for all the support throughout this month and throughout this new series. This is finally like me being active on YouTube for the first time ever. And it's been really difficult to get used to the editing, but it's getting so much easier every time. Like you just take me literally days to edit and I could only do like little segments at a time, but I'm getting so used to it that yesterday I edited a video in three hours, which was honestly like so surprisingly good to me. But today, I edited, I like cut down all the videos, I did transitions, add text, like all that, like pretty much got everything done besides adding music and adding the voiceover, which is what I'm doing right now. I got that all done in pretty much an hour, which was crazy to me because I edited this from like 200 minutes of footage. Like it's crazy how quick I'm getting, but it's becoming a lot easier now that I'm getting more consistent. But thank you guys so much for all the love you've shown me. We've literally gained 2K subscribers since I've been active. And it, honestly, like it's not even been a full month yet and that's a crazy amount i also got monetized this month which is so exciting because now i can generate you know and a little extra money to be able to continue doing social media full time which is my dream job and i'm so happy that i have it and finding even more outlets to create and be able to monetize it is like so like amazing to me so thank you guys so much it wouldn't be anything like without you guys the only reason i got monetized is because you guys showed me so much support so quickly and i got my watch hours up so fast which was um how i was able to qualify so thank you guys so much just commenting watching liking interacting it just means the world to me and it makes this something that i'm able to do full time which is so amazing I hope to build platform by platform and my community is so strong that you guys help me to do that every time I want to move platforms. Um, I want to start Twitch um, when I get a PC, so I'm really excited for that, little gaming streams and stuff like that. Um, maybe gaming YouTube videos in the future, like playing games with my friends and stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited for that too. I've always been super passionate about streaming and I just love live streams. It's literally how I got started on social media. It's just like my community that I've built through live streaming. And I feel like Twitch is another really good like live streaming community where people can interact with me. And OGs know that I used to Twitch stream, but I had a really bad setup. I have terrible Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is freaking $10 a month. Like it would just be a meme how bad my Wi-Fi was and how bad I would lag. But now that I am making more money from social media, I am blessed enough to be able to save up the money to buy a PC in the future, so I'm working on saving up for it, but I'm also saving up for a car, so it's kind of hard, and it probably won't be soon, but I'm definitely working on it, and I'm going to get that PC built and ready, and then we can have some amazing streams over on there, so I'm super excited for that in the future. OGs know that when I originally talk about like how I originally wanted to get into social media, OGs know that like my inspiration was like i has cupcake like ld shadow lady like all those people like cub scouts like i wanted to be a youtuber because when i first started wanting to do social media it wasn't even a like tiktok was not a thing it was like i don't even think musically was out yet by the time i first realized like i want to do social media when i'm older and like it's always something that people don't believe in and they're like that's stupid like that's never gonna work blah 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 but it's working for me so 
and I like had no idea what TikTok was because that app wasn't even out yet. So I wanted to be a YouTuber and I wanted to be a gaming YouTuber. So being able to have the money to build a PC setup pretty soon in the future is like crazy to me. And I'm so excited for it because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I love playing games and I love talking to you guys on live streams. So being able to do gaming streams is going to be like so much fun for me especially lately i like stay up so late like my sleep schedule like i just stay up late and i still get a good amount of sleep but without like having like high school anymore like i already graduated so being able to like sleep in and stuff and like not being forced to get up because of school i do get up a little bit later in the day it's still not like super late but i stay up late so being able to stream like late at night would be so much fun I'm also redoing the guest room in my house to be able to have space for like extra storage. I'm gonna add like an extra closet because my room doesn't have a closet. So I basically have like one dresser and then like a coat closet, like those really, really, really small, like one little tiny corner closets. That's what I have in my room. So I'm making that room for like more storage of my things because I have so much stuff. And I'm also just redecorating it to become like a hangout space and like a guest room with like a little day bed and also my PC setup. And I think I'm also going to move Peach in there just so that um, her cage has like more room and I have more room to like interact with her because in my room, my she's on my dresser right now, her enclosure, and it's huge. So it's really hard for me to like reach up and interact with her and stuff. So having her in there is probably going to be easier for me and it's also going to make way more space in my room. So yeah, I think I'm going to make a video of like renovating the guest room as well because I think that would be really entertaining to watch. I was going to do one when I was first renovating like my room, like my bedroom. I redid my bedroom. Um, oh geez, remember when I used to have like a super dark like gray curtains and like my room was like super like moody. <laughs> um, now it's like 2014 like white and pink and stuff. So yeah, I want to do a video renovating that. My mom literally like... I, she always says that I should like like I'm in charge of renovating the whole house like if I buy the furniture and stuff if I pay for it like she does not mind if I change anything because like she says that I make like rooms like look so much prettier and I make it so zen like I really do like I'm such a good home decorator I in another lifetime I was those like brothers that like renovated houses in another lifetime I was one of those people on that show where they like changed the little kids bedrooms that's honestly how I realized I was poor when I was younger. Anybody remember that show where they would like redo people's bedrooms into like a crazy theme? Like when I saw the video on YouTube of that kid who got like a pirate themed bedroom, I was like, damn, like we're broke. Like <laughs> it was crazy because that show, you could tell them you like like rabbits and you walk in and your room is literally just like your whole bed is just the shape of a bunny and like there's bunnies all over the wall like they took those kids interest way too seriously like imagine like when i was little i used to give up interest like so quickly that like i would be like oh yeah i like bunnies and then the next week I, my favorite animal's a frog like what are you gonna do when the kid grows up and they have this like million dollar room all like fancy and renovated like why didn't they just do like neutral cool bedrooms like bro that kid <laughs> like oh gunther that kid who liked stacking cups and then they gave him like stacking cups um like windows like what's it called Sh like sh like oh my gosh my brain curtains they gave him cup curtains like please go look that video up if you have never seen it because it's so funny they literally gave him he was like oh yeah i like cup stacking like when everybody would do that like cup stacking challenge in like 2016 and these people literally made him like a cup bed like a cup stocking cup table like what happens when he doesn't like it anymore in like a year like <laughs> what are you gonna do with the room when i was younger i like wished so bad that i would be on one of those shows though like i i wanted my room to be like renovated like that so bad so when i was like younger i had my mom redo my room and we painted it like baby pink and all my furniture was black which is actually how i had black furniture in the first place like when you guys saw the dark room that's this is originally when i got the black furniture i got all black furniture i had a black bunk bed and my room was like baby pink and black and paris themed i thought i was the shit and i was the shit i felt like i was on seven Supergirls when they all had those super cool themed rooms and of course all my blankets and shit were from like ross but i still felt like i was that girl because i really was like it was really so it was cute it was cute honestly I would, I would still have that bedroom now honestly the main reason i keep my room really white is because it's better for filming but 
like i would really have that bedroom now like those rooms are cool um i low-key forgot to explain what i'm doing in the tutorial i used blend bunny cosmetics i'm more of a visual person i don't really know how to explain stuff but you could have saw what i was doing the whole video but the products i used is what i forgot to say i used the blend bunny cosmetics for like the blue part i was using the cream palette for all the cream stuff and then now i'm just doing a gem placement i just add a dot of glue and then i let it get tacky for a little bit and then i take a makeup brush with like a small like back like the plastic back of the makeup brush and i put a little glue on the tip of that plastic end and then I use that to pick up gems. You can see here I'm using like a small end of a makeup brush. And then that's just how I place the gems. And then here I'm coating the stripes with lash glue. And then I'm using a silicone brush. You can get these at like any like beauty supply store. And I'm using it to pick up the glitter. Since it's silicone, it like picks up the glitter, but it doesn't get like stuck to it. And I just tap on the glitter. I use like a dark blue glitter that I got from my local beauty supply. And it's like um super easy to use this silicone brush for like glitters or like pigments because it's so easy to clean and it doesn't like hold the glitter like if i used a regular like hair brush it would get all the glitter stuck inside of the brush and barely deposit on my face but with the silicone brush it like lets it go oh hey avatar look if they slayed avatar if they served Avatar, guys, <laughs> I'm done with this voiceover. Guys, this is really cute though. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel and making my dreams come true. Y'all are amazing. Love you. Bye. If you recreate any of these looks, tag me. Also, watch the other videos since you're already here. Bye, guys.